Well here we are at Mitterdale and the team is getting ready to set off for what is Claire Harvey's conclusion of her second round of the Waymarts. Today we're going up there to do Winrig and Ilgil Head. Claire is now arriving. Del, Mary and myself are supporting Claire along with some other friends of hers and members of the Fat Boys group. We're going to take you with us. So as always, stand by for action. This really excellent route, plotted by Clare, takes us over the River Mite through the Mitterdale Forest to the northeast ridge of Erton Fell, and we head in that direction to Winrig. With fantastic views towards Westwater, we then crack on to the last fell on Clare's list and celebrate Ill Gill Head. After popping a cork or three in the shelter nearby, we head back with the great views of Burnmore Tarn and the Scarfell Massive through Eskdale back to the car park and Golden Ale refreshment. And we finally got started after a downpour hit us while we were standing by the car park and we're now heading up to Winrig. Weather is a little unpredictable as we've just discovered but hopefully the sun looks like it's coming out. Yeehaw! Look deep into the April face The change has clearly taken place What a lovely route this is Through this beautiful forest Fabulous, it really is Beautiful Much better route than I've taken previously to Wimrick Really gorgeous The eyes take on a sudden gaze And leave behind the springtime days Claire was somewhat worn out but determined to complete today's final two fells for a second round because she was still recovering from getting the dreaded COVID-19 and it really had taken it out of her. Not content with that and just to make it even more difficult, Claire completed a three fell walk of Middle Fell, C. Talon and Buck Barrow the day before in torrential rain to enable today's walk to go ahead and she got soaked through. What a trooper! in the background there and obviously you can see out to sea and over there is Sellafield and we're cracking on won't be long before we're on the ridge going well remember love how it was the same we scratched and hurt each other's growing Still I stand this very day With 
the barn and wish to fly away car said it wasn't going to rain but of course it is it's supposed to be a lot better than this but there we are it's still good walking there's a nice breeze so we're not getting too hot as well which is good plenty of bog very different for where I come from where it's bone dry this is definitely wet everyone's having a good time though and that's all that matters. Wind rig coming into sight and very nice it is too. Don't know what that is, I'm gonna go and have a look at that. The sun's starting to come out, it's all going well. Let's have a look what this is. Well that was worth a little extra walk. Cracking little view. I'm off paste. Very nice. Right, here we are at Wynn Rig. Everyone was so happy, the weather was playing ball, but now you could feel the tension. We were dying to pop those corks on the next fell. En route to the fell we had some wonderful vistas to take in. After a wonderful walk, at long last, the fun begins. <laughs> well done, well done, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done everyone, that was brilliant. Well done. Oh. Excellent. You look, like, you look like a doing commentary or something, you know, they have those microphones. Yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, how, how was that for you? Was that okay? <laughs> Well, 
Well, that was great fun. The champagne went down very well, but it was now time for me, in particular, to stumble down the fell towards Burnmore Tarn and then head south back to the car. Bracken, a fern, is a hiker's nightmare in Lakeland. It is a pest plant that can cause cancer and is rich in cyanide. And of course it's rampant with ticks. Shorts are not advised in this stuff, I can tell you. I hope you enjoyed this video of your big day and thanks very much for the invite. I really enjoyed myself. Great fun. Lovely to meet all these lovely ladies. I'll see you out there. Take care.